So there's one quote a lot of people focused on over the weekend. I'm going to read it to you. We are navigating by the stars under cloudy skies. And then today we're looking at the CME Fed Watch tool. 80% chance of a pause in September. What's your outlook, not only for September, but for the other two meetings this year? I expect them to have at least one more hike. Um, and it may be a pause in September, but a hike thereafter. And the reason is the major point that he made at the very beginning, which is, yes, inflation has come down, but it's still noticeably above that 2% target. And then he also talked about, you know, the forward momentum that we've seen recently, as he says, may call for, you know, further hikes. Um, and so I think you put it all together, and it feels to me as though there's at least one more hike uh, likely. And frankly, depending on the data, possibly more. They're very data dependent right now. But I think one certainly seems, you know, consistent with uh, the main messages that he was delivering. Yeah, you, you seem to be hearing something very different than with the markets hearing. So I do want to ask you, you've been in these rooms. What are these cloudy skies? We're on a pretty clear trend of inflation trending down. Um, yes, the economy is strong, but isn't that the goal of a soft landing for inflation to steadily decline and the economy to remain strong? The goal is certainly for inflation to steadily decline, but you, people are missing the second part of that sentence. While inflation has been steadily declining, it is still noticeably above the 2% target. And as he said, 2% is and will remain the target. The second thing that I think folks might be missing uh, is that there have been mixed signals around the economy, certainly some forward momentum, but the labor market, which is one of the places they're looking, remains uh, noticeably tight. Uh, and so I think, you know, a risk management approach where the risk of doing too little uh, is important as the risk of doing too much might lean them towards at least possibly one more this year. And depending on the data, we'll have to wait and see. Right. Uh, maybe more could occur, but right now it feels like one seems consistent with this speech. Okay. So, as you pointed out, Jay Powell was very adamant that 2% inflation remains the target. Uh, right now, you look at core PC at 4.1%. There have been a lot of people who have been critical about the fact that he, he's not willing to shift this target. Uh, if you were on the FOMC, would you advise him that perhaps 3% inflation would be okay? Or maybe it's time to at least shift that target? No, no, no. It's not time to shift the target. Uh, another speech that was made there was by Christine Lagarde from the ECB. The same questions come up with her. And she said very appropriately, you don't shift the target, you don't shift the goals line halfway through a game um, or whatever part of we are through this game. <laughs> and so, no, I think it would be a mixed message to the market and to citizens to say, well, wait a minute, inflation target now is slightly different. Remember, um, one of the reasons that people fight inflation, and certainly I believe this very strongly, is inflation is an insidious tax, often and mostly on the poor among us. And so getting inflation under control, I think, is really important for the average American. I don't think it's time to change the target when we're still fighting uh, the war. All right. What's also important to the average American is affordability when it comes to houses, vehicles, et cetera. Um, interest rates are very high right now. Do you believe that we're still likely to see a soft landing. I know last time you were here, you believe we were on the path for a soft landing, but with possibly one more hike, can that soft landing still be achieved? I think it could be achieved for the points that you raised, which is there's good forward momentum. I've said all along, while the uh, possibilities have gone up, I'm not 100% convinced that we'll get a soft landing. I've said occasionally it might be a sort of a bumpy-ish kind of landing. Um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me to have a quarter where growth dips below, you know, positive to slightly negative territory. Um, and so I think as we get through 24, we'll figure out exactly what has occurred, obviously. Um, I would say fingers crossed for a soft landing, but certainty, I am not yet in the camp that says oh, it's certain that we're going to get there. Right. Because this inflation does seem to be somewhat entrenched at the core level and may require, uh, as, as Chairman Powell said, more action. And finally, you know, that higher for longer is still important. So even once they're done raising rates, I think it's unlikely that they'll uh, turn to cutting rates in 24.